It's like a wildfire that's roaring uncontrollably, and you can't intervene unless you're right there. And even then, it might be too overwhelming. Most people experiencing burnout have a moment of realization. It's like a spark in your life, a situation that feels like the final straw. You crumble, and suddenly, you're in burnout, whether you call it peak burnout or rock bottom. According to research, 72% of founders stated that their mental health was affected by the entrepreneurial journey, and more than one-third of those founders reported that they suffer from anxiety as well. Back to the fire of burnout, it feels like there's nothing you can do at that point. When the fire is finally extinguished, everything seems dead, like a forest reduced to a pile of ashes with char marks and dusty remnants. But here's the thing about forest fires. They crack open seed pods and sprinkle seeds all over. The key is that one has to die to the habits. This takes time and is more like a quest of radical self-love, reflection and being your own best friend to bring you back to the campfire when you're veering too far from the trail of homeostasis. I don't believe in balance, but I do know it is a life of living or consciously and less on achievement. So in closing, the seeds have been dropped and planted all around, but they need the right resources to germinate and come back to life. Just like humans, when we feel like a pile of ashes, we need specific resources, water, nutrients, sun, warmth, and most importantly, connection. It's like how trees heal in a community through their root system. A solo tree doesn't recover from a wildfire. It takes a whole forest, a community of trees, coming together. Humans are the same. We need that community, that connection, to thrive and recover from burnout.